Hi, my name is Stephanie Spicer. I'm a senior lecturer in the equine science program at SIU. Uh, the official judge for our contest was Casey Parr of Carbondale, Illinois. And Casey was highly decorated during her youth judging career. She won multiple titles in competitions at the Quarter Horse Congress, the Paint Horse World Show, and the Appaloosa Nationals. And I will be sharing Casey's reasons with you. Ring one was aged quarter horse mares. She placed this class of aged quarter horse mares two, one, four, three, with cuts of one, four, and two. Overall, she found the obvious top pair with mares one and two, displaying more balance as well as heavier muscling than three and four. It was two's short, strong top line that eventually led me to place her above one who exhibited a weak, low top line. Two also showed the most defined chest when viewed from the front. I realized one had a more widely muscled hindquarter. However, I could not overlook her running downhill. Moving on to the middle pair, it was obvious to place the sorrel mare one over the bay four. One was a larger type mare exhibiting heavier muscling, where four was smaller and lighter muscle. One also had a longer, more sloping hip, while four displayed one of the highest tail sets in the class. In the bottom pair, I placed four over three as I found three to be the poorest profiling mare running downhill and lacking overall balance as well as muscle. I found her long back and short, flat hip unappealing. While I admit three had a wider stance than four, that did not disguise her lack of muscling. And those were the reasons for the ring one. Aged quarter horse mares placed two, one, four, three with cuts of one, four, and two. Ring two was open stock type halter and she placed this class of open stock type halter, four, two, three, one, with cuts of four, two, and one. She found four, the Palomino gelding, to be the obvious top horse. He exhibited the highest degree of balance while also having refinement and definition. Additionally, he was noticeably larger uh, and had more muscle definition a cleaner neck and throat latch, and more correctly sloping shoulder than number two. While I grant two did have mass, I preferred the refinement of horse four. In my middle pair, I placed two over three. Two had a more rounded hip and more muscling proportionally to her size. Her muscling was especially visible when viewing her hindquarters from behind. I will admit three had the more desirable slope to her shoulder. I found two to be more balanced and compact. In a close bottom pair, I placed three over one. While both lacked balance, I found three to have a shorter, stronger back than one, as well as being deeper barreled. The chestnut gelding had a lower set to his neck and a longer top line that led to a shorter, flatter hip. It was due to these reasons I found him at the bottom of the class. That was ring two with placings four, two, three, one, and cuts of four, two, and one. Ring three, aged quarter horse mares. She placed this class of aged quarter horse mares, four, two, three, one, with cuts of one, two, and three. In a close top pair, I placed four over two due to four having the most nicely rounded hip and the strongest top line while also being the tightest coupled mare in the class. Granted, two showed an impressive hindquarter. She lacked the strength in her top line to allow her to win the class. In a more distinguishable middle pair, it was two's femininity and muscle definition that landed her above three. While three did have a higher tying from her neck to her shoulder, 
too easily beats her in femininity with a shorter, more chiseled head, as well as heavier muscling throughout her hindquarters. In the bottom pair, I found it easy to place three over one. Three was heavier muscled, shorter and stronger across her back. While one had a more feminine head, it could not make up for her light muscling and lack of balance. So the placings for the ring three is four, two, three, one, with cuts of one, two, and three. Ring four, Hunter Under Saddle. This class of Hunter Under Saddle was placed four, one, three, two, with cuts of two, one, and one. In the end, it was the four horse who showed no breaks in gait or incorrect leads that wins the class. Although four was inconsistent in headset, the one horse had to be faulted for breaking to a canter when asked to trot the second direction. The middle pair was placed one over three. One had an overall consistent headset during the class and performed with less contact from the rider to maintain headset, where three was very inconsistent at both the walk and trot despite efforts of the rider. Additionally, three had to be faulted for missing the correct lead multiple times in the second direction. In a close bottom pair ridden with faults, I chose three over two based on movement and type. While both horses struggled with correct leads, I found three to be a higher quality mover showing a forward gait with the most impulsion. The Hunter Under Saddle class was placed 4132 with cuts of 2, 1, and 1. Ring 5, Hunt Seat Equitation, was placed 4, 1, 2, 3 with cuts of 1, 2, and 3. In a close top pair, I found 4's pattern to be given a more complete picture of horse and rider in unison while executing the pattern with more fluidity and promptness while maintaining proper seat and consistent headset. One simply did not have the same level of promptness when changing gates during the pattern at the markers, as well as lacking collection in the horse and a lower and a steady lower leg from the rider. In the middle pair, one was placed over two due to twos resisting the rider's request for a collected headset. One presented an overall happier appearance as well as less resistance during the back. For the bottom pair, proper execution of the pattern allowed me to easily place two over three. While two may have struggled to maintain a consistent head step, she still executed all of the maneuvers, whereas three also struggled with maintaining a head set while additionally being faulted for a missed lead in the canter portion of the pattern as well as crookedness during the back. So the placings of hunt seat equitation again was four, one, two, three, with cuts of one, two, and three. Ring six, ranch horse pleasure, was placed one, two, three, four, with cuts of two, one, and three. I felt that the sorrel, one, maintained a more natural headset on a looser rein while also fitting the type I was looking for in this class of ranch horse pleasure. Although two may have had more forward motion, I had to penalize the amount of contact held to maintain headset and the more English type of head carriage. In my middle pair, it was a break in gait that dropped three, the Palomino two third in my class. Two not only completed the gates when asked without breaks, but also exhibited more forward gates with proper cadence. In closing, I felt it was obvious to place three over four to round out my class. Four missed the right lead the first direction and appeared to be out of control at times during the class. While I did not like the movement of the horse, I could not excuse the lack of control and obedience. Therefore, I had to place four at the bottom of this class today. So ranch horse pleasure placings again, one, two, three, four, with cuts of two, one, and three. 
Our last ring, ring seven of horsemanship, was placed two, three, one, four, with cuts of two, three, and two, based on the correctness of executing the pattern. In the top pair, I felt that two separated herself by having a more distinguishable extended trot, while also adding difficulty to the pattern with a posting trot and properly executed diagonals. Three lacked a clear difference between the regular trot and extended trot, while avoiding any other actual flaws to the pattern. In the middle pair, I felt it was obvious to place three over one due to three having no major faults during the pattern. One, however, was hit with multiple faults for breaking gait, failing to stop at the second maneuver, and missing the left lead prior to completing the pattern. Even with faults, one still places over four due to four's lack of control of body position throughout the pattern, as well as a lack of difference in the regular trot to the extended trot, while additionally failing to ever pick up the right lead after breaking to change. Additionally, one showed more willingness to back and complete the pattern. So, ring seven, horsemanship, was placed two, three, one, four, with cuts of two, three, and two.